Wait. You needn't come up with me. I can get into the apartment without your assistance. Wait. Jerry, darling, please, please forgive me for what happened tonight. I admit I was wrong. You did all right for yourself. Oh. Why do you insist on spoiling a perfectly good New Year's Eve? I haven't. It's hardly midnight. You won't lack company. You didn't earlier this evening. Jerry, that's not like you. I know. I'm a brunette. Besides, I... I didn't think you noticed it. I've tried not to, for some time. <laughs> After all, my dear, a man must live. I've often wondered why it was necessary in some cases. Will you please be serious? I am serious. The trouble has been that you haven't been serious. Don't you see, to a girl, it means so much more than just an adventure? Jim, you've been the only man in my life. I wish I'd known it was going to end this way. Well, it doesn't have to end this way. Oh, please, dear, let's forget it. Let's start this New Year's right. I am starting it right, without you. With whom, then? You would ask that. I'm starting it with myself, me, Jerry, your ex. Uh, Jerry. I'm not ashamed nor afraid. Goodbye, Jim. Have a good New Year. I'm going to have the best New Year I ever had since I've grown up. Jerry, will you marry me? <laughs> what an effort that must have been. <laughs> Oh, stop that. Well, it might work out. If you married all of us, the chorus girl, the widow, and... Who told you? Oh, it's a secret. Nobody knows but me and the Associated Press. Well, I... I haven't offered to marry anyone else. No, why not? Oh, because I... Because once I asked you to... Ah, he remembers. I also remember... There was some difficulty about uh, setting the date. Thank my lucky stars. I'm really serious. I really mean it this time, Jerry. Mean what? Oh, marriage and, 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 and all that. No, I'm afraid there'd be uh, too little marriage and too much all that. Are you absolutely definite about this, Jerry? So definite. Well, it was beautiful while it lasted. Jim, come back.
Take these designs to the shop. I've made the changes and they can start on them at once. Oh, yes. And tell Miss Curtis that Mrs. Hoffenstein's gown must be ready this evening. That Buster Collins on the phone. And tell them I'll be over early in the morning. Well, uh, what time? At 12 o'clock. Mm. Hello, Buster. Hello, Jerry. Can I come over? And bring a friend? I'm not dressed. Who is it? Tony Blake. Tony Blake? Oh! Anthony Blake. Of course, bring him along. I'd like to meet him. Tell him I think his book is wonderful. But don't tell him I haven't finished it. Why does he want to meet me? <laughs> I don't know. Get him to tell you. You have to have something to talk about. <laughs> shower and cool off a bit. Miss Jerry Trent, may I present Mr. Anthony Blake. <laughs> That's great, Buster. <laughs> See that building? I have an apartment there, and on a clear day, I see you here on the roof taking your sun bath. 
in your bathing suit. Why? Oh, I know how you feel about it. I feel the same way. We should be married at once. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably going to say you don't know me well enough. So let's get acquainted. What do you do? I own a shop. You know, very smart things for very smart ladies. Good. Any profits? Not many. You see, I want to sell the nicest things. I keep them and wear them myself. <laughs> Too bad. I thought for a minute I'd be able to quit work. Well, no matter. Now that I know you, I'm still willing to go through with it. Will you marry me? You are crazy. <laughs> Why am I crazy? I obey my impulses. Like the character in your book. I am the character in my book. But let's get back to our marriage. Now then, if we went around together for several months, the usual thing, uh, you'd find out that I don't like carrots. And, and you'd find out that I dunk my donuts. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's twice as much fun marrying first and getting acquainted afterwards. Have you ever done it before? Uh, no. <laughs> but right now I have an impulse to do it and I always obey my impulses. We miss so much in life. We're not doing what we're really feeling. Did you ever want to trip a waiter when he's carrying a tray full of dishes? Yes. I've done it. <laughs> no. And it's marvelous. <laughs> it only cost me twenty-eight sixty. <laughs> what are you doing tonight? Why? Do you want to go out and trip later? Yes. <laughs> I'd rather ring doorbells and run. Oh, the fun <laughs> we're going to have together. <laughs> That's just what I wanted to know. A good woman. That's right. There are not many of us left nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> since you've seen your sister? It's been two years. And then just for a few days on my way over here to school. You see, I lived with my aunt in Oklahoma. Oh. You think a lot of your sister, don't you? Everyone who knows her loves her. I could never tell you how wonderful she's been to me. She worked so hard to pay for my schooling over here. And... Oh, don't get me started on the subject of Jerry. I'll talk all the way home. <laughs> how well did you know her? Oh, uh, it was just one of those things. I remember her all right. But I don't know if she'll remember me. Wouldn't you be surprised if she knew we're engaged? Don't forget, that's our secret. Tell him, you know, about Jim. Now, don't be a fool. That's the one sure way of losing him. I know, but I won't feel right unless I tell him. Well, you'll probably feel worse if you do. Think it over, carefully. Well, I guess I'm just a modern girl with an old-fashioned conscience. Press it for me. Huh? Bye. Well, here we are. <laughs> and just in time. There you are. Let go. <laughs> I want to turn on the light. Take me with you. I'm afraid of the dark. All right. Still scared? Mm -hmm. Still scared? 
chair? A little. Should we have some music? Pick a station. And the baby swallows the pill, thinking it's candy. Still scared? <laughs> <laughs> now a little fire and everything set. I think your feet are wet. No, they're not. Mm, they might be. I didn't step in the puddle. Well, let's see. Are they warm now? Mm -hmm. Ow! What? I'm sorry. Better get a shoe on. Here we are. There we are. <laughs> An inventor as well as a writer. You know, Blake. <laughs> Let Dr. Blake feel your pulse. You'll live. I wonder when I'm with you. I'm the one who's just begun to live. I wish I'd met you years ago. I wish you had. You didn't have as much fun today. What's wrong? Nothing. Aren't you going to autograph one of your books for me? Right now. Wait a minute. Don't peek. Tell me. Hmm? Do you believe everything in that book? Of course not. When you said you were the central character, wouldn't you do what he does? I try to. You see, he's me. Idealized, of course. start chasing around. I'll always treasure this. I'll dedicate the next one to you. I'd love to write it in Paris. Now, if I had a wife to go with me, sort of a severest critic. I have an idea for your new novel. Really? Depends on the man. Supposing you're like the character in your book. Oh, I see. Well, it might be better for her to tell him than to let him find out for himself. That's what I thought. On the other hand, it might be wise for her to say nothing. What a man doesn't know <laughs> won't hurt him. I guess if everyone told the truth, nobody would marry anybody. Then honesty isn't the best policy. Rarely. 
The modern baby face looks up at the chump she's going to marry and says, You're the only one I've ever loved. And the big sap says, Yeah. And they live happily ever after. Oh, I don't know. It's hard to say what a girl should do who's faced with that situation. But I am, Tony. You're what? Faced with that situation. didn't change what you had written, did you? Yes, a little. Oh. I want it. Give it to me. Give it to me, please. Unpack your things. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, and Kate, New York is so different from Paris. The trunks will be here about an hour. 
<laughs> Gee, it's great to see you, baby. Hey, what's the matter? Please, Master. I have to unpack and everything. Say, hey, aren't you glad to see me? Of course I'm glad to see you. But... But what? <laughs> Quit being so young. I mean, you're older than you are. <laughs> well, act it. It was rather silly to think that things would be the same between us after two years. Oh, you're kidding. Why don't you come? It was nice of you to want to give me a party, but you really shouldn't do it. Hey, Jerry, help me out. She's giving me the chill. Says she doesn't want to go to my party. What's the matter? Won't you go? There you are, my lad. From now on, it's up to you. See you about 7.30? All right. And you and Tony? And you too, Mrs. Brown. Get over the way you've grown. It was only yesterday I was looking at these. Look. <laughs> <laughs> there you are before going to Paris, before and after. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> oh, what the well dressed baby used to wear. to look after you. At times I worried about you being out of my sight for so long. You didn't have to. I couldn't help it. Mm. I hope we have as much fun here as we had in Oklahoma. Do you remember the night you went out with Sportwood? <laughs> And he made you get out and walk. <laughs> and even at that, I beat him home. <laughs> What's that? I was wondering if you remember. Of course I do. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I need you now to keep That's the last part of it. I remember it. When you had a bow in the parlor and he got too, uh, bowish, <laughs> you'd sing this, which was my signal to come in and say, uh, Geraldine, that time. <laughs> it saved my life many times. <laughs> Not over. Anthony Blake, the novelist. 
And your future brother-in-law. No. <laughs> yes. Oh. oh, he's terrific. You'll meet him tonight. <laughs> oh, you, you poor darling. You've been in a convent so long, I suppose you've forgotten what boys look like. I have, all except one. He hasn't forgotten you either. Oh, I don't mean Buster. No? No, this one I met in Paris. I think you know him, too. Who is he? Jim Woodward. Don't you know him? Yes, I'm trying to place him. He said you might not remember him. Oh, Jerry, he wears the cutest clothes, says the most adorable things, and dances divinely. If you'd ever met him, you'd remember him. I remember him. Vaguely. Well, I... Uh... I suppose you want a manicure and a, and a wave for tonight. I'll go with you. I need one, too. Oh, and you can wear one of your new Paris gowns to bust this party. It'll be a wonderful party, really, it will. <laughs> what a party I'm giving. <laughs> on the party. Hope you won't mind. That's great. What's your name? Jim Woodward. Swell. I want to have someone for your cape. <laughs> yeah. Shall we tell them about us? <laughs> Why? I want to pin you down in public. <laughs> Why not? Not now. Hello, Joe. Hello. You remember Mr. Woodward? Cherry. And more beautiful than ever. <laughs> Meet me, Mr. Woodward. Tony Blake. I'm the fellow who's supposed to make all those pretty speeches to Jerry. And my aunt, Mrs. Smith. How do you do? How do you do? And this is Mr. Collins. Mr. Collins? <laughs> <laughs> Have a drink, Woodward? Yes, thanks. Right. What a party I'm giving. <laughs> She might like to, uh, marry and, uh, raise a family. <laughs> P.S. I got the job. I go to work Monday. Hey, you've been holding on, Buster. Congratulations. Thanks, Buster.
Can I be best man? He's the best man I ever knew. Is that nice? Roses round the door. Kitty's on the floor. Oh, you gonna go for that? Why not? I love him. This doesn't mean anything. You and Joan, does it? Why? You know why. Just lay a harrow on the boat. She's only a child. I think she's getting a bit serious. See that she doesn't. You know me. Yourselves. 
Falling like this. Goodbye, John. let you go through with it. You were right. Just give that Jim Wooder time. He'll open her eyes himself. By then it might be too late. Jim isn't going to be on the level with her. It just isn't in him. Oh, if Joan only knew him as I know him. should I give the minister? Whatever you think it's worth, I suppose. Oh, I couldn't afford to pay that much. <laughs> what are you laughing at? The passports just got here. <laughs> oh, Tony, my picture. Isn't it dreadful? We're a great pair. <laughs> we don't look as if we're trying to get out of the country. We look as if we're trying to get in. <laughs> oh, by the way, Jerry, I can't go to the Woodwards. No, I've got to run down to Washington after all. Oh, that's all right if you have to go. I'm not going either. Oh, you shouldn't stay home on my account. You ought to go anyway. Why, well, you'll probably have lots of fun. Don't be silly. I couldn't have any fun without you. Well, hurry back. I'll miss you. Be a good boy. Goodbye, darling. And Kate? Yes? Get ready, we're going to Westbury. to it. Thanks a lot. I didn't want to go to Washington anyway. Goodbye. I'm terribly sorry about you and Joan. I did all I could. But I'm defeated. I don't know why you're on my side, but I love you for it. And after I finish these, I'm going in and get Jim's old man to call the whole thing off. I think I'm brave enough now. I like Joan. I like the sister. But that aunt... Oh, she seems all right. I... Come in. How do you do? Hello. When I met you today, Mr. Woodward, I don't think you remembered me. 
I'm the son of Timothy Collins. Buster Collins. Why, we knew you when you were that high. <laughs> now I'm this high. <laughs> I came in here to ask you, Mr. Woodward, if you knew that Jim intended to marry Joan Trent. No, really? Well, we hadn't heard, but uh, I should be very glad if it were true. We're anxious that Jim should settle down. <laughs> oh, um, but, uh, what do you know about these Trents? Nothing much. They seem to be nice people. Well, not from what I heard. But if you're satisfied, all right. <laughs> Buster, one moment. Tell us what you heard. Oh, it, it doesn't matter much. Oh, it certainly <laughs> does. Uh, tell us what you know. Well, I heard that, uh, the ant was a bootlegger. What did I tell you? Nonsense. I don't believe it. <laughs> you may not believe that, but that's not the half of it. Oh, but I can see you're not interested. <laughs> oh, Buster, just a minute. Tell us what you know. Do you want to know all? All. Well, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I wish I hadn't have mentioned it. Young man, will you speak up? All right. You ask for it. Everyone that knows the Trent knows that there's a dash. Just a teeny weeny dash of insanity in the family. Now I feel like a cat. How'd you do, comrade? I did all right. What do you mean, you did all right? <laughs> I don't think there'll be any Woodwards marrying any Trent. <laughs> really? Buster, what did you say? <laughs> I'd rather not tell you. <laughs> you must tell me. <laughs> I'd rather not. You, you might not like it. I swear I love it. <laughs> you won't get sore now. Cross my heart. Well, I, I don't... <laughs> Consumé. 
in this lady's bedroom. What are you doing in this house? When I think of the answer to that, I'll be back. Oh, Jerry! Well, is it? Little James. Oh, what's going on here? What are you up to? Nothing, nothing. I've given up. Let anybody marry anybody. You're the winner, Jim LeBrun, the winner. Upset. He thinks you're crazy. Crazy? Why, I only obey my impulses, that's all. What are you talking about? We miss so much in life by not doing the things we want to do. If you feel like doing something, why shouldn't you do it? For instance. Well, uh, oh, for example, I don't like his expression. <laughs> I catch on. <laughs> Oh, baby, this is a perfect house for a vain impulse. I have worked here, it will take me days. Jerry. 
Now I have another impulse. You get out of here. Go on. Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh, oh, no. What do they think downstairs? I don't care what they think. I have a bigger impulse. I want to stay. I haven't laughed like this in years, Jerry. I always did have a good time with you. Why talk about that? I'm just beginning to realize what a fool I was to let you get away from me. Are you trying to make love to me? That's the impulse. What about Joan? Joan will never be a Jerry. I think the only reason I ever felt for Joan in the first place was that she reminded me so much of you. Can't we start all over again? You mean? I was never more serious in my life. Not Jerry, Just darling. a moment. Let me finish. I'd, I'd hate to hurt Joan any more than is necessary. Joan's just a kid. She'll get over it. I bet I know what you're thinking about. Blake. Oh, forget him. Don't you want me back? Isn't there just a little spark still burning? Why do you suppose I was so anxious to break it up between you and Joan? Jealousy! Oh, what a fool I was not to have seen it before. Uh -huh. Oh, you mustn't be too hasty, Jim. Please. Oh, Jerry. Uh, do you suppose it'll work out? Why, certainly. We ever recapture the happiness of the old? We could. Oh. Remember the gay night, the music, the dancing. Well, the same places are still open. <laughs> you used to tell me that you like nothing better than to sit for hours while I sang with you. I like that too. You did, didn't you? Do you remember? If you can hear me calling, dear, come to me, come to me. My life, my love, my own. From here upon, wherever you are, come to me. Well, uh, 
I think you'd sound more convincing with your coat on. Yes. No wonder you didn't want me to have him. You wanted him for yourself. Why, a man like Jim has enough love for both of us. I won't share his love with anyone. Well, I guess you're going to have to choose between us. Pick yourself a trend. Well, maybe this will help. Ibbity bibbity, sibbity sad, ibbity bibbity, canaba. Canaba. Canaba in, canaba. Canaba out. How does it go? Oh, stop it. Why do you hesitate? Is there any doubt? Oh, of course there's a doubt. Jim's very fond of his Jerry, aren't you, Jim? Jerry, I don't know how you could do this to me. Joan, don't cry. <laughs> Please. I know it hurts. But you'll soon forget. Really, you will. There, don't, don't cry. Let me alone. Don't touch me. Oh, Joan. I don't think you quite understand. You see, well, you see, Jerry and I were once sweethearts. discovered each other all over again. Haven't we, dear? Take it, darling. Jerry? What's the matter, Stick? No, I'm all right. Talked to Joan this morning on the phone. And what do you think? She called me. Looks like everything's gonna be all right. out there the other night. Tony no more than got there and he left. And then you left, then everybody left. So I left. Hello, Joan. Mind if I meet you down at the car? I want to talk to Jerry a moment. Sure. See you soon, Jerry. I want to tell you, Jerry. I understand everything now. And I'm 
story about Tony. I know you are. And I, I want to tell you. You want me to stay home with you. I don't have to go out with Buster. I think it would be nice if you would. Will you be all right? I'll be home early. Oh, Miss Trent, I want you to see something wonderful. Is this not beautiful? Are you going to stand around all day and admire that atrocity? Oh, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. I'm getting sick and tired of it. Why, Kate, what do you mean? Here you are in love with a man, yet you sit around all day moping while he sails right out of your life. Are you sure he's sailing? Certainly. I called his house. You didn't. Of course I did. Why not? Oh, shame on you. What did he say? Nothing. He wasn't there. But his servant tells me that he's sailing for Europe. Going to get it. Now he's gone. Well, no, he hasn't. He doesn't sail for 35 minutes. Now, if you're any sort of a girl at all, and if you're worthy of the name of Trent, you will get out of here and go after him. We could. He's your man, isn't he? You love him, don't you? Well, you're always preaching to me about obeying those instincts. Now, why don't you practice what you preach? But I, I couldn't make the boat oh. in 35 minutes. Besides, I had anything to have. Yes, you have. Now, get out of here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get out of here. Come on, my things. Right, right, right here. Right here. There's your coat. And you have your purse. Now, come on. Come on. Get your things together. Oh, oh I'm, sure. I'm sure there's something you've forgotten. Oh, thank you. Oh. One night down to the just, just... Why not? Your good ones, of course. Oh, good. Here, here. here. Come on. Get your coat. Oh, I haven't got any time to lose. Oh, oh here. Here, here. I've got the one that's going oh, here. Get one of this yourself. Oh, hurry. Hurry. Now, have you got everything? Yes. Aunt Kate, tell, yes. tell uh, Joan about it. She'll yes. love to know yes, that I've got to tell her everything. Before. Oh, I don't know. Now, have you got your grip? Oh. Hurry now. <laughs> He's your man, isn't he? Oh, Aunt Kate, you're a darling. What would I ever do without you? But when you get to Paris, and you still can't do without me, send for me. Hi, Aunt Kate. Is Jerry here? Yeah, she's out. Well, I must see her at once. I started to sail without her, but I couldn't. I don't care what's happened. I, I want her. I said a lot of things I'm sorry for, and I, I want to tell her. I, I'm mad about her. I, I'm simply crazy. That's what I said the first time I saw you. <laughs> I guess I've got to tell you. She's gone to the boat looking for you. Gone to the boat yes. looking for me? Yes. Looking for me? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, honey. Goodbye. Please stand aside. Show your ticket, please. 
seen a girl go by here. You think that caught from men only? Oh, wait a minute, sir. Uh, really, she, she, uh, she come up about, uh, about here on you. What's the idea? Oh, honestly, she's a cute little thing. She looks like this. Have you got a ticket? Uh, with the ladies' consent, of course. 